Hi guys, welcome to another video of Pilot Labs. My name is Chirag and in this video we are going to learn how we can upgrade the Cisco IOS image on our router or switches. As a network engineer, I can guarantee you that there will come a point in your career where you must have to upgrade the IOS image on your router or switches. So it is very important to understand what procedure we are supposed to follow and what set of commands are required to upgrade the Cisco IOS image of the router or a switch. So let's quickly get started and let's understand what is the procedure for doing this. I'll open the packet tracer here and then we will begin with the process of upgrading the image. So here's my packet tracer. Inside this packet tracer, I will place a router, let's say 1841 series router. Then along with that, I will place a switch which is going to act as my TFTP server. Sorry, I meant I will place a server which is going to act as my TFTP server. You will make a connection between both the devices using a cable like this. And then in order to bring connectivity, we will configure IP address on both of them. So I'll go to the CLI. I'm going to say no, enable config T. Host name we can set as R1. On interface FA0 slash 0, I will configure the IP address 10.1.1.1.255.000. Enter. No shutdown to make the port up. And then exit. Then I will go to the server to configure the IP address. So go to desktop IP. And the IP I'm going to configure is 10.1.1.2 and the gateway will be 10.1.1.1. Then if I go to the services sections inside TFTP, we can have a look into the available images. So for 1841 series router, we have advanced IP services image, we have IP base image, then we have IP base K9 image. Let's have a look on the router and see what current image do we have. So when I say show version, There in the details, I can see that currently we are using advanced IP services K9 image. So we will try to change this image to the base image. So I'm going to copy the name here for the IP base image and then we'll move back to the router. And then we will use the command copy TFTP flash enter. Enter the address of your TFTP server. So 10.1.1.2 source file name now paste the image name which you want to add enter destination file name we can use the default name hit enter and we are done now if i show you the flash memory so we can see there is advanced ip services image and there is ip base image as well so i will remove the ip services image by saying delete flash enter file name I will paste this name here copy then here I am going to paste it like this enter confirm after deleting this I will go to the configuration mode and will use the boot command to boot the new image so we will say boot system flash colon and we will use the name of new image so I will copy this and paste it like this enter say end have a look into the flash memory again to check whether the image was deleted successfully or not so when i say show flash i can only see the ip base image okay so we are good to reload the router so i'm going to say reload there save the configuration yes reload confirm and the router is reloading once the router is reloaded it should boot up with the new image which is of IP base. There you go. It tells you to re press return to get started. Hit enter, say enable and then when I say show version and hit enter, I can see that the system image file is now up updated to the IP base image which I used from the TFTP server. So that's the process through which you can change the image of your router to a newer version or maybe to a previous version depending upon your requirements. So thank you so much guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this informative. I'll see you in some other video. Till then take care. Bye bye.